Hi everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is October 19th, 2018, and I got something interesting for you today. Some fresh revelation. <laughs> Check this out. So we are on AddictedSports.com website, and I'm going to show you something that some of you see and going, what the heck? Oh, that's nothing. That's just, you know, sun dogs and swamp gas and all that fun stuff. Check this out. So let's just bust that myth out of the water today. So we are in Lake Starnberg, and, you know, here's the temperature. Uh, let me translate that for you. The air is 17 degrees Celsius. And as the sun sets, something very interesting happens here. Let's watch the sunset. You know, this is happening underneath our noses almost every day somewhere. So here comes the sun. Here's the chemtrails or clouds, whatever you want to call it. And then, you know, we get this darn dark rain thinking around the halo around the sun. It gets kind of dark in the area. Just it begins to get dark. Look at this. Even this isn't even shining right. Look at this next shot. We start to see light shining on both sides. What is that? That is so strange, right? Oh, that's just ice crystals. Yeah, ice crystals. Okay. Just normal stuff, right? Why is that happening? Well, if that was the case, then uh, how come just the day before Same conditions, and, uh, gee, we're not getting the sun dogs. Why is that? Temperature hasn't changed much. Look, we got a round sun here, right? Changes in size. Looks kind of strange, but, <laughs> yeah, a little dark there, too. Look at that. What happened in the light? So, how about this one? So now we see something a little strange. We don't have the clouds or chemtrails, whatever you want to call it. And now we get the strange beams coming off the sun. Looks rather odd. Well, one of the things I want to point out is that look at look how dark the sky is compared to like this one. Nothing in front of the sun, same temperature, no chemtrails, clouds, whatever you want to call it. But look at the darkness. Do you guys see the difference? I think that speaks. Why is the sky so dark right here? Maybe it's being eclipsed. Why do we have a sun simulator? Now, check this out. So, here is a picture taken from the National Space Station. That looks interesting because look at the same pattern we see here that we see with our own sun. You guys see the difference here? <laughs> Same. Same thing. Wow. This is from space. This is from the ground. Interesting how once we put this behind a cloud, it starts to get round again. So, you thought that was the sun we were looking at? Here's the International Space Station. Look at this. Turning off and on. Right? Is that the sun? Is that a mirror? Or is this a sun simulator? And it's not saying it's attached to the space station, but it looks like something funny is going on here, right? <laughs> yeah. So we put that up with what we saw here. And I show you videos time before watching this turn off and on inside of a few minutes go back and watch those videos yeah I like this one right here we go this is the back side of the sun simulator see this thing turning off and on the sun didn't even set and it dims out so what is that is that reflecting because the lights way over here huh yeah that's something awfully screwy going on around here 
let's go back. So here we watch the setting sun. <laughs> Look how dark it gets. We get your atypical <laughs> halo, which isn't it funny how we just saw this the day before? Let's zoom in on that. reasonable conscious mind what would you think it's dark in here we have light over here we got this square Sun and we got this darkness here and yet just the day before we had the same conditions under the same temperature and it only got dark well I got something even greater than that check this out these photos were taken by a subscriber with this cell phone. I believe it's the rising sun. Thank you, George, for these pictures. Check this next one out. See, it's kind of dim right here. Watch what happens in the next snapshot. I really wished we would have captured this on a video and move your camera back and forth because I guarantee you we would have seen this not moving with the lens showing this is something in the sky you guys see that where have we seen that before hmm well how about this over Antarctica on the WSO channel yep it's happening it's coming at us from the beneath just go take a picture of it. Yep. And I got something else really cool. Remember that video I showed you yesterday? From Dr Planet X Hunter? This, I believe, is the lens array. And it really was a special polarized lens. I don't think they are just simply glasses. Because we definitely would all be seeing it. I think he's got some kind of a special configuration. Could be, like I said, the 3D glasses you get. Could be thicker polarized lens, maybe more of the windshield. But this was definitely taken outside the picture. And if you watch the video, you see he quickly removes it like in the blink of an eye. Well, that is no way you're going to roll a window down in the blink of an eye. But these are these strange clouds. Also, look how similar these colors are, these cloud formations, just like in this video I showed here. So I'm definitely going to do some experimenting today in the next several days to try and catch this. By the way, it was only viewable as the sun was rising or setting, as it is so in the video. It was not available all the time. Further corroborating, not to mention the strange vibration with the camera. Please go back and watch. I will leave a link for the video in the description box for his channel. And listen carefully. It's the same one for the lens anomalies. Oh, look. <clears throat> on the same camera that brought you this this object here as we set the Sun here in Germany at a slightly different angle as the Sun sets this particular day brought you no strange things even though the conditions were the same yet one day later voila we've got are strange sun dogs that appear why do you think that would be look how bright that is look at this right there huh isn't that something because over here at the same time all right just in case you missed it look at the date the fort the 19th of October Here's the setting sun with the sun in Germany. And watch the sunset here. Now we're going to get a special bonus. <laughs> so the sun sets in the same time within probably five miles from the previous sunset. Slightly different angle. <laughs> watch this. Oop, going, need to go forward in time. Watch the sunset. And you out there in Germany, I wish we could get streaming videos of this. 
Someone should go get a camera face of the setting sun. Okay, watch. You guys, I want to show you. Okay, so at 5, it's 510. And here it is. Let me zoom that in. And we're going to see the early signs of the sun dog. And it, I guess what's more amazing than that is people's absolute don't care. <laughs> well, keep watching. Watch how this halo sun dog follows the sun and watch what it leaves behind when the sun finally sets. So I believe we have the shadowy object here. With the sun simulator in front of the object and there you go, right here. Let's look at that. You know, I love it when we see these black spots and the sun just happens to set behind it, set behind it per, almost perfectly. I believe it's the shadow of the planetary object. But look what happened. Let's wind back the clock again. We see the light here from coming around this huge lens in front of the lens array. Let's see if I can blow that up for you. Uh, nope software won't allow me to do it but there you go and here we go at a slightly different angle and you get this object right here wow funny how this also looks just so much like the uh, sun simulator right and once again we get the look how bright the skies were look how dark it is here no clouds sun right smack in front of the camera and yet at the same no clouds same time of the day one day earlier and we get two distinctly darker skies get that two different Look, at, it's pretty obvious how much darker this is. This is not camera trickery, people. <laughs> Look, this is... You just can't get around that. I'll leave links. And when these things start to eclipse, this thing called the Sun Simulator that is between us and the planet because our sun is being eclipsed. So we have to have something shining like the sun in front of it. It doesn't produce much heat except at a focal point. We get that insane burning heat. Our sun is not giving us much light as it used to. It's only giving off heat. So we have in concert two suns. The real sun is still there. It's just being diminished of its light and only giving off heat. And at sunset, this white sun begins to turn yellow again. So... So thank you for watching, and if you feel led to help me and my channel, I would like to do this full time, and thank you for all who's helped me out and donated. I have the donation links here in my channel through PayPal or GoFundMe. You can click on these links or in the description box. Hope to do live streams today or tomorrow. Um, so thank you for watching. Have a blessed day and see you at the Lord's Supper.